Do you people not understand? Do you not get it? That we're going to have more and more kids not finishing school because you all think it's more important for your dumb fucking asses to not wear a fucking mask and to be in a fucking big ass group. I had a friend on Facebook tell me that this guy one night asked the hub to go to KFC and get 15 buckets of of chicken with a lot of sides. He felt really uncomfortable with that and thought, hmm, big group. So he called the police and the police arrested, went to the house and arrested everybody there because it was a big group and they have to put people like that who won't stay the fuck away from groups to take them to jail, to get them through their thick skulls that, hey, quit thinking, quit being selfish and thinking of yourself and think of other people. Think of people that are out of work. Think of poor people that can't work and feed their goddamn kids because your ass has decided to be in a group and give out the COVID or the virus to everybody. And you guys decided that that was more important than people out of work getting back to work. You not wearing a mask is telling people, I don't care if you get to go back to work or not. I don't care if the kids get to go back to school. I don't care if old people die. I don't, we need, you know what? If you have somebody you know, like a grandparent, get the virus and die from it, then you're gonna wish you didn't. Because there was a guy that said, oh, I think this whole virus thing is a hoax, blah, blah, blah. Even though they showed him videos and proofs and everything else. And then he got it and he goes, I shouldn't have thought it was a hoax. Should have listened. So you need to listen too. Because I haven't been to work since my birthday, March 17th. That was the last day I went to work. And I work at a college. Now they want to in my state, delay schools until after Labor Day, which is September 7th. That's more of me out of work. That's not, I need money to pay my bills, and I can't do that when you guys don't let me work. Let people work. Stop being in groups. That's why they had to shut, what they should have done, in my opinion, is they should have not allowed they should not have allowed people to go to the beaches and go to the bars they should not have opened that they opened those too soon I think and should have kept them closed now the rule is that if you're caught in a big group you're going to jail if you're caught without a mask you're going to jail so that you get the fucking clue to hey, wear a fucking mask, stay out of groups. You can be with one extra person, two, you know, it could be two or three people. But more than that, if you're at least going to be in a group, at least wear a mask. Also, they even banned choirs from singing at churches because choirs at churches are getting the virus. Take this shit serious, people, and stay the fuck at home. Don't go out unless you need to. California had to go back in a lockdown because of you sh shitholes. I think it was too soon for them to open up the bars. Too soon for them to open up the beaches. They should have kept those closed and just opened up the small, you know, people that need money and stuff like that, businesses. And then when, um... I mean, Disney World is still opening up their theme parks slowly and slowly and slowly, but a lot of people ain't going. And you guys just stop being in big groups. That way we, we can get this virus to disappear and then have a normal life again. 
You guys are sick of this virus. You guys keep bitching and complaining, but I'm so sick of this virus. I wish it was over. I wish we never had this virus. Oh, this virus is so annoying. Oh, just open up the virus. Well, then, wear your mask. Stop being in big groups. And that can happen. But if you continue not wearing your mask and continue not... If you have a mask that you don't like, then get a mask that you do like. Get a mask that works for you. That's what I did. Dwarve masks are the best. I loved them. They work great. No problem. But please, wear a mask when you're around other people and stop being in big groups. I can't even go see my goddamn grandpa because of you jerks. And people at my mom's work had four people with the virus and one guy quarantined for two weeks because he had it and then went back to work when he shouldn't have. And that pisses me off. So just wear your goddamn mask and stop being in group. I'm sorry, you're just going to have to miss being with with a big crowd. You're just going to have to miss being with all your friends. You're just going to have to miss having parties. You're just going to have to miss seeing your family for a while until this virus is gone. You're just going to have to miss it. If you miss a certain family member, then see them one at a time or a couple at a time. But don't do it in a big group because it ruins it for everybody else. And that's not fair. Quit being selfish. This shit is pissing me off. Later, haters. By the way, the new school rules are middle schools. I don't know if this is for college, but for middle schools and for junior or high schoolers, they have to stay in one classroom all day long with the same people all day long. And they have to be six feet apart, which means they go one week to class, and then the next week, they have no school, they go online, and the people that were online get to go to class that day, that week. That's how it works. So, if you gotta go to school, when you go to school, that way every kid can, because there's not gonna be enough room in a classroom for kids anymore, so they have to do it that way. You know, have to wear a mask all day long, stay in the classroom all day, and go every other week, be at school and off and online. Hey Kaylee, it's people like you on why California's closed or in lockdown and why a lot of people have to close their businesses again and bars and, and beaches because you can't stop being in a group. You should not have went camping with your parents and other people that you don't live with because that is how viruses happen. And people like you and why kids can't go back to school and have to leave the have to land. So I hope you're happy that you're selfish. And why you are in the lake, your kids who are young should be wearing life jackets. They're kind of too young to be out there without life jackets. See, I'll show you. Sheesh. Let me see. Look at you. There you are. See, teenagers don't need life jackets. They know what they're doing. They know how to swim. Look. Get guaranteed jackets like this should be. No shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service. Masks, folks, or no service. You have one old message. Thursday, 6 p.m. Oh, I'm glad you picked up. I was getting my answer in the sheet voice ready. <laughs> Hi, good evening. This is Kenneth Allen. I'm calling for the Kansas State Drive of the National Police Support Fund. Have the calls recorded for quality assurance, okay? Hello? 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 
if you're a cop, you're a pretty stupid cop. Um, you're deaf. Did you not hear my answer machine go, Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Beep. Did you not hear that part, or do you hear this? Hello, wah, 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 beep. Like, what the fuck, dude? And then you make a joke that made no sense. Um. One, you can say you're the police department. You can give out a random name to me. But I don't believe it because when I look up the, up the caller ID here, it says Lincoln, Kansas. Some made up town. If you were the police department wanting us to donate money, wouldn't it say that the police department on the color ID? But then again, why do I donate to stupid people? Well, second of all, why would you ask people for money right now if you're a police officer knowing nobody's going to do it at this time? Because of the um, the way policemen are getting treated right now for the way they're killing people and yeah my aunt that's why I wish my aunt's machine I mean it's kind of funny that they tease people and all to, so that you can see who's stupid enough and who's not stupid enough to re hear the whole message but in my opinion the aunt's machine should have said Please leave a message after the tone. Because every time it says hello, people think it's an actual person. Because they don't hear the other part. It's like they only hear half the information. Like for General Hospital, for instance. People only hear half the, or read half the information. When does, when does General Hospital start? 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 Well, when new episodes ended, it told you when it would start back up again. So, why would you not paying attention and reading that part? Because you only read half the message. So, yeah. Anyways. I'm going to finish my din din. And watch my YouTube. So, talk to y'all later. Later haters.